beautiful sound. It's my voice. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that sound. Um, yeah, well, the other one, sure. One of the things I'm going to try to do is be a bit of a tour guide for you guys this week and show you some of the more historical nooks and crannies of Murder Vale. And we're about to walk into MV1. Okay, Sean, can we tell people, if they're not already yeah. at their computer or their tablet oh or their mobile, go to the they live stream to. now, because it looks amazing. bbc.co.uk slash six music. Which studio are you in, Sean? With MV1. I thought okay. you were talking about my shirt then. It does look amazing, it does. doesn't it? It feels good as well. It's That's very, the thing they're missing. It's, it's very kind tactile. Of like a, a lovely soft cord. It's a soft cord. But Needle cord. That's a soft cord I can hear in the background now. Because <laughs> uh, it's the home of the BBC Symphony Orchestra, of course, and they've allowed it. They've said that it's all right. If we sneak in and have a little look, you want to, you want to, yeah. have a little listen and a little Let's look. Let's do it. Yes, definitely. Just like Lauren says, if you can get to a computer, it's well worth checking this out because we're, we're visualising this. <laughs> the crew, the boys are following me. I'm going to be quite quiet because it's a quite a quiet passage. Oh, I'm gone. Somebody stood on me. God, but listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just experience this for a moment without me talking. <laughs> that is Sean just produced a baton. It was a baton. <laughs> and, um, well, I mean, it's it's quite a contrast, isn't it, with the rock and roll mayhem that we're going to have uh, really just a is. few doors away with everything, everything in a few minutes. But I think I'm sure you'll agree. It really is a... It's a wonderful experience to hear this for real, isn't it? What a it's resource the BBC has here at Murder it is. Vale. It's a magical place and a wonderful thing. Started life as a skating rink, That's right. this place. In the 30s, it did, yes it did. I was going to say that. Sorry. I'm the tour guide. <laughs> and also, the home of the radiophonic workshop, Delia Derbyshire, didn't write Doctor Who here, but she had a prawn sandwich here. <laughs> and this chair... Oh, Just sure. for the people watching this on, on, the, on the internet, that is well worth seeing. But listen to the swell of the orchestra now that I'm ruining with my voice. <laughs> oh. You're not. You're only enhancing it, Sean. You're contextualising the music. Okay. Uh, let's let's believe that that's an important job. Otherwise, <laughs> this is going to be a bad day for both of us. <laughs> Um, well, listen, we'll leave you there. Thank you so much. And, and please thank the, the beautiful players there for us. I will. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I don't think you're helping no. with that, that <laughs> battle. But, you know, good luck. <laughs> uh, Sean Keaveney, our friend out there in Maidaville, and he is going to be among it later with the audience at the front of that session for Everything, Everything. Get to the live stream now. The session starts at midday. That's when the songs begin.